Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. So it's uh, the day before leaving day and we have to take photos of everything we own, pack up everything we own and everything we've gained in the time we've been home, um, record it all for insurance purposes because I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past these airlines to, to go for the trifecta. Yeah, and lose it for a third and time. Lose, to go three for three in lost bags <clears throat> for this yeah. journey. Would you like to explain to everyone your highly complex and organized system of loading bags? Indeed. Uh, it's throw everything in the bags and That's see what That's not fits. what you said. This is just the crap area over here and if these things don't fit in the bags then we won't take them. This is the has to go back with us section and these are the bags. We have a fair amount to bring back with us and it's more so um, that a fair bit of it's heavy for instance. Our propeller pullers which is going to weigh a lot. Ooh. Like a dried it's prune. <laughs> well, it's officially leaving day. Um, we're flying to Hawaii, then New York, and New York to Grenada. We overnight in New York and we have a six hour stopover in Hawaii. So we're apparently gonna get on a shuttle bus and try to get out to Waikiki Beach and just uh, do a quick lap around town. Neither of us has been to Hawaii before, so that should be pretty sweet. We're a little bit concerned about coming into Grenada because we've heard tales of uh, them gouging travelers for import taxes on their possessions, not just things that they're you know, commercial goods, like just straight up taxing you for something you've had for 10 years. And we've got quite a lot of equipment with us, so we're a little bit pensive about that, um, but we can't get around it, unfortunately. So stand by on that one. It's an hour, in fact, it's 20 minutes before we're about to leave. And um, as you can see, the room is very, very much bare. Um, in fact, my voice is even echoing, it's this bare. Um, we're all packed up, we're ready to go, and 20 minutes until go time, until we head up to the airport. What are you going to miss the most in this room? Um, I think I'm going to miss the most is space. It's, yeah, like it's one of the things when I first got here. Yeah. Oh, probably the bed as well. I'd say getting out of one side of the bed is really, really nice. <laughs> Not having to crawl over Adam and then down a two-story, or it seems like a two-story flight to get down the bed. That would that's be pretty good. I'm miss either that. Or that. The bed or the air conditioning. The air conditioning. <laughs> Would you get it, ever get it on the boat? <laughs> Alright, see you soon. Bye bye chicken. Bye bye. Can I have the face please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's it. All the bags are in the car. For better or worse, we're out of here. So we have a stopover in Hawaii for uh, six hours. So from Hawaii, where it's a beautiful 25 degrees, we then go on to uh, New York, which it's uh, minus one at night and three degrees in the daytime. So not only are we taking bikinis and beach stuff with us for our stopover, we're then taking puffer jackets and gloves and scarves for our final for our midway destination. So this should be a very fun flight. And needless to say, our carry-on luggage is very, very full. Now a word from our sponsor. What's do it you... feel like to be offloading the, your freeloaders? Oh my god, um, I am. T we're going out to celebrate tonight, god. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no, of course not. We're going to miss you both terribly. Just filming Adam eating all of the snacks prior to us even getting to the airport. One last little delicacy from the home front before I depart.
Jesus. You, you having fun there? Come on. Mush. Honolulu. Now we're stuck two hours prior to boarding time. Nothing to do but have a good beer. I think if I could describe traveling in one or three words, it would be hurry up and wait. Yeah, that's four right. words. Okay, so we just realized just then as we were sitting down for a drink that um, both of our work hard drives are plugged into the computer at home and they're still at home and we're now at the airport an hour away. So that's not good. Uh, that has all of our data on. And that also means no episodes for everyone else. So I don't know what to do. They just, the parents are just getting home. They might need to take another trip up here and drop them off, see if we can go out and meet them. Oh, okay. That was a very stressful 15 minutes. So we're sitting here having a nice casual drink at the airport, knowing that we have two, three hours to wait. Um, and then all of a sudden I was in a conversation with Adam saying about how we'll do a little bit of work while we're on the flight. I realized, hey, the hard drives are still plugged into their computer at home. Great, so I called up my parents um, and they were just had just gotten home and they were like, we're not gonna make it in time if we go there. We might just make it, in which case you might just make your flight. It was one of those like, we can do it, but is it worth doing it for you know losing a whole flight over a few hard drives? Um, turns out that no it's not so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna they're gonna post them to us tomorrow our hard drives are very precious hard drives and um, we're going to pick them up in Grenada and then we can For work the record because I can hear the comment section blowing up with people saying you should back your things up they, they were, were plugged in because we were backing them up. So both, yeah, both hard drives both of and them backup, and were, the backup. <laughs> were in the same computer and are left on the desk. <laughs> we are boarding. Boarding. First of three flights. Good morning. Hold on. Hi. Did I just say good morning? Yes. <laughs> Not only is it coronavirus season, but I've also been ill in the last three days. Oh, man. And I had a very good tip from a business traveler once. Um, always disinfected his tables, and he has never been ill on a flight. Tip for travelers, right there. <laughs> I like that. I'm keeping those. Sure. Unfortunately our plane was in a bit, got in a bit late and uh, we didn't know that we had to, we would have to transfer our baggage which cost us probably an hour and a half which was the hour and a half we intended to spend on Waikiki Beach. So sadly we're now here at about 11.30, 12 o'clock and we have to be back here at 3.30 and it's half an hour each way. 2.30 we have to be back here. 2.30. So it's um, our dreams of a splash on Waikiki, like an hour and a half swim on Waikiki Beach have unfortunately not come together for us this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Recap, we sat down, made excuses, chastised ourselves for being slack and not giving it a go, jumped on the first bus that rolled up about yep. 60 seconds later. Probably the wrong one. 40 minutes of bus ride later, we're uh, just off Waikiki Beach and walking towards it now. Fingers crossed we make it back to the airport on time, but yeah. we will get in the water. <laughs> Was so inappropriately dressed for the beach. I feel like a right tourist in my dorky backpack and my sneakers. And long sleeve pants. And long sleeve pants and a so hoodie. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. I'll just gently inch my way in. This is such a nice um, stopover break though. Even if it is chilly water, it's so nice just to come to the beach no, and just your stopover of flight. It's awesome. Once you're in, it's lovely. <sighs> Nine hours on a plane, not bad stopgap. One, two, three. Oh, that was so anticlimactic. So how often do you get to take a, an ocean swim between flights and then an overnight in New York and dinner between the next flight and then, a, and then we have another hotel before we go to the boat that day? Um, Somebody who's traveling at an incredibly leisurely pace. Yeah, but I <laughs> Such like... Such as a boat owner. I, I'm, I could get used to this leisurely pace of travel. Are you stripping off right in the middle of my shot? No. Surprise! <laughs> Doing a frantic last minute repack, trying to get our shoes back on and get back into dry clothes. Capture a little bit of footage before we have to run down the road, jump on the first bus that shows up and get back to the airport. <laughs> but was it worth it? It was actually. Quickly out, quickly, 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 go, go, go. All right, feeling so, so much more refreshed after that swim. I was uh, definitely feeling tired and a little bit woozy beforehand, but that's really perked me up, ready for the next flight, um, or at least ready to like make the manic dash back to the airport. So we have about an hour to get back there um, before we then we need to board on another flight. A lot of other let's things. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Absolutely nailed the timing. Literally walked straight up to the gate, joined the back of the queue, and we're boarding. Because it's friggin' freezing in here because some left the... I have nothing nice to say right now. <laughs> it's minus three outside and some tit put the air conditioner on for like 22 Celsius. It's like, I don't <laughs> set the bloody thermostat to 20, 22 Celsius when it's 32 degrees outside at home, let alone <laughs> like when it's minus three out here. <sighs> Slept for three days. <laughs> so we uh we will call it a day here and we will reconvene tomorrow in the morning bright and early for a 7 a.m flight to grenada miami then to grenada
All right, so it's 2 a.m. in the morning and uh, Adam has made us a wonderful coffee. Adam, where's my wonderful coffee? I need to yeah. show everyone. <laughs> it's reminiscent. It's got um, a tinge of, uh, of these beautiful mud flavors and... Um, it's and Balinese, it's a Balinese coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, that must be why. Anyway, Adam's perfected it to a T. Uh, it's sitting anyway, it's one o'clock in the morning and we've, uh, we've woken up an hour before our alarm because it was too cold in this hotel room because they don't have heating to actually fall asleep. So we've woken don't up Don't let that hand. thing fool you. Oh, it's a beast of an air conditioner that doesn't go above 25 degrees, 22 degrees. Celsius. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna head, gonna head off to the airport now. Uh, flight's at six. And we're doing this because this little piddly coffee machine mm. here is only capable of making half oh, a yeah, cup. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that bit. And I made a huge mess trying to squeeze like half a cup and we're both just cold and ready to start. The, what, is it even a day? I don't know what time, I don't even know what time it is. This is gonna be day four, three on the trot. Two. Two, no. Three? This is a, That was our second night that we've been on the move. Really? Yeah. Yeah, day three. Day three then. Or this day. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> just want to draw everyone's attention to something that, that's just an observation that I've made of, of Kiara and my different ethos towards packing. So, my bag. <laughs> buttoned up. Buttoned up. Half a kilogram underweight. My other bag. Two bags, mind you. Carry on and second check bag. Buttoned up. <laughs> strapped together zipped up tight also <laughs> on weight Kiara's bag <laughs> hemorrhaging equipment uh, in all three pockets every single pocket is not uh, done up zip tied together those are zip ties ladies and gentlemen uh, and might I add two kilograms overweight Kiara employs the Arsene Arnold method of packing which is uh, in the rear with the gear and it's all hanging out <laughs> Do you have any comments? Would you like to defend yourself? It's all your stuff. <laughs> it's all your stuff. Don't blame me. Are you? Are you? I'm really not comfortable. We're going to need some of that. Ready? Oh. Come on. Take back what I said about Kiara. She's managed to get it all in <laughs> to a <laughs> kilogram. Get it all buttoned up, all repacked, and all zipped up down to the kilogram at the airport. So you've done very well. There is method to my madness. So happy you know. <laughs> oh, am I glad to see the back of those? We're bag free until Grenada. Bag free. Oh, how long were we looking, lugging them around for yesterday? So glad to see the end of that. Okay, 38. Okay, 38. We're gonna go get coffee now. Proper coffee. <laughs> what was my coffee uh, inadequate? It's lovely. Works really hard on that. After a quick sleep in our Airbnb, we were up again bright and early. <laughs> that was a cow. <laughs> oh, it's a jet lag kind of morning. 
We're up at uh, about 3 a.m. If not sooner. Some of us had a lion, they got up we, at 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> we've been uh, killing time until the sun came up. It's just come up. So mm. we're off to uh, stretch our legs, get the lay of the land a little bit. We'll see how many taxis are floating around because today's job is to get to the boat yeah. and get her find she find the boat <laughs> and get her up, bring her back to life. Alright, on our way to the boat. First thing, it's eight o'clock in the morning, on our way to the boat. Um, Ads and I have both been mentioning that uh, we're a little bit nervous to go to the boat because um, well, first of all, to see if it still floats, but also there's, uh, there was a thing on a Facebook group, on a uh, Grenada's forum, Grenada's Cruises forum Facebook group, that mentioned that a boat nearby to uh, where our boat is located um, has been had been broken into. It's both a little bit nervous, um, and we're hoping that nothing's happened to our boat. Um, but it's eight o'clock in the morning and we're, we're kind of eager to just get there and get going and uh, back up the hill. We got ourselves a taxi. It doesn't work. The Airbnb lady has helped us out with a booked taxi for us. Thank you so much again. Thank you, see you next time. See the boat? Is yep. it still there, Key? The boat's still there. It's still there? Still yes! Panels. We still have solar panels? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Good morning. Good morning. Still floats. Okay. It's still oh, floating. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I've seen the boat now. It's okay. We've uh, very, it's probably a bit cheeky. I asked the owner if we could borrow her dinghy, her dinghy to uh, get out to go to our boat and we'll drop her back in like 20 minutes. She's like, yeah, yeah, of course. It's like, yes. So uh, thankfully we don't need to bomb a ride from anyone. Phew. All right, Adam has just driven away in the dinghy. Guess I'll just wait here. Why did you come over this side? Well, I can see if it ran and it's going to move it. Okay. Whew, and we're off. Alright, let's go back to the boat. Sitting about the same height out of the water, which is great. Alright, dinghy's a bit uncovered. It's fine. I thought there would be more algae on her, on her hull. Pretty great. Dinghy's a bit inflated, it's deflated. Okay, solar panels are still there. All right, let's see what else might have got. Barbecue's there, so surely if someone's gonna take something, I'll take that. Is the hatch closed? The hatch is closed. Yes! yes. Right. Hi everybody. Thank you so much for watching that and uh, we hope you enjoyed. Um, we just wanna say hi, welcome back and- uh, to sorry, ourselves. To us. Uh, we've been gone for um, for I think a while. A, yeah a couple of weeks now. Special thanks to everyone who reached out to us and um, and sent us messages wondering where we were. Yep. No, Kiara's not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. No, we're not selling the boat. No, we're, no, not, we're not giving up on anything. Uh, <laughs> we just needed a holiday. Just, really. <laughs> we're just uh, spending some time yeah. at home with the family um, and uh, and just resetting the clock a bit, which was yeah. lovely. Uh, but we're back now. Everything's yep. going well so far. We're itching to share our adventures with you and we're itching to go on some adventures yeah so uh, if you like what you've seen um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already give us a thumbs up and uh, tell your friends stay tuned for more regularly scheduled shenanigans yes <laughs> from here on out bye bye see you next week thank you cheers